Hi, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can get the value from this MPU 6050 accelerometer and gyroscope and display them uh, on this LCD 2004 with 20 characters and four line and I square C with four wires uh, simultaneously in different combination. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. People who are working with MPU 6050 to develop application or working on a project, they sometimes need to see the value directly here at different um, different parameters of this accelerometer and gyroscope so they can tweak and adjust it. For that purpose I wrote the code that it can display two sets of values either gyroscope and accelerometer or gyro value or acceleration value or whatever these are all the combinations that I've written so it can display the value for you easily and also it shows on the screen that you have selected for example this is uh, the select the type is one and it also it shows you one with a title and all these value I hope uh, it will uh, help some people during the developing of application a separate video explaining this one fully with the data sheet and all other information related to this so I'm not gonna go explaining this in this video so you have to make sure that follow the link that is in the description install that library run the code make sure this displays the value on the serial monitor and it works after that then go to the LCD uh, 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 video that I have for the LCD with I squared C make sure that this can display some text then come here and combine together in order to make this video shorter that's what I did let me explain the wiring uh, this has a VCC and ground VCC is connected to 5 volts ground is connected to ground because this is a voltage regulator so you can connect it directly to 5 volts that have been connected here after that we have this SCL and SDA this is for the gyroscope SCL is red and SDA is uh, brown and then we have X DA that's the for the accelerometer and then SCA SCL the clock for the accelerometer and then this is a data selector for the uh, I square C and also this is the last one is the interrupt which is connected to pin 2 these SDA and SCL of uh, both of these are connected together and SCL of this and the other one SCL and XCL uh, are connected together because I needed to connect them together uh, SDA is connected usually to pin A0 if I, sorry to A4 and SCL is connected the clock is connected to A5 some Arduinos will have directly S, SCL and SDA extra pins so you can connect it otherwise by convention the A, A4 and A5 now because I don't have four uh, you're using Arduino Uno and then, then SCL is A5 and SDA is A4 and Arduino Mega, SDA is 20 and then SCL is 21 and Leonardo and all of those uh, connector here what I have done is I have extended this to to the breadboard so it, I can connect it m multiple items so the yellow in here that's SDA for A4 I've connected it here and then the white one is SCL or the clock from A5 this is connected here and then from here I have connected from this whatever it says SDA or XDA connected to SDA here and XCL or SCL that are connected in here this module this LCD has this uh, I square C module connector this has VCC and GND VCC is connected to 5 volts because I have another connector here and then uh, ground is connected to the there and then this one because this also use I square C 
SD and SCL is also connected as you can see SD is connected to the green on the other side and SCL is connected here so this uh, I square C you can connect in parallel uh, this is 3 to 125 more total 128 can be connected uh, 128 pairs can be connected to I square C bus So this is the main library for the um, MPU 6050. This is Fire Square C, as I mentioned in the main video. This is creating the object for this. And this point is uh, for this uh, screen. And this is the address. I will provide you with the link to the uh, um, I Square C scanner so you can find the address if yours is different. And this is the 20th number of characters, 4 is the number of line. Inside the setup, this is the same as before. And, and, and then LCD begin is to start the LCD. And this is a backlight. And this is clearing the previous value. From here to here, these are just cosmetic text that I display on the screen. As you can see. And then inside the loop, this is the same as before on the main code. So this is getting the X if you need it directly to use it somewhere in your application. This is for Y and this is for the Z. And these are just a text backslash T mean tab, which means after this, we have this much space here and this space. So that ba backslash T will create a tab. And then we clear the screen from the previous value. And then we say LCD uh, display. And then we pass this value with a comma. The comma is very important to pay attention for. And then we have the same thing in PU6050 dot get angle Y and then comma and then dot angle Z because this is the last one, we don't put comma. So we just put this line and it will send it to the display and then we wait 100 milliseconds and the loop continues. This function, I've written it to make it uh, easy for you. And here is the explanation. Uh, we just need to get x, y, and z. These are float values. And then we set the cursor. So we set the cursor at 0, 0 here. And then we print this text, which is this text at zero zero starting and continues whatever it is and then this is for x these four lines first we go to character zero line one this is character zero line one that's line zero line one line two line three and then we go to angle x we print this text and after that we go to character nine uh, line one so if you count this zero one two three four five six seven eight 9, 9 is here, it starts from here, and then we print the x, which is the angle that's coming here from the loop. And the same thing, we go for y. This time we go to line 2, and everything is exactly the same, that's line 0, 1, 2, and then we go for the z, we go for line 3. As simple as that, so we print the value on the uh, display, and also here, uh, in serial monitor, it's also printed in case if you are needed. Uh, in case if you need it. Okay, let me demonstrate this. Uh, the angle that you see is x, y, and z, and for whatever uh, starting point that I did as reference, this is y now with the chip. And so pay attention. That's y. This is x, and then rotation like that. That would be z so now i'm rotating it in terms of y as you can see now it's zero and negative and that's 80 so i'm paying attention here now for the x this now i have to rotate it like that so you can see the x effect of x it's almost 90 degrees so the top row and if i go this way that will be negative and then for the Z, rotating around itself. So if I go fully the other direction, we will get the negative 
but this one as you continue it will go negative and the, the angle increases so it does not beyond one beyond 360 it continues up to 400 500 whatever you see 395 400 so it goes whatever uh, rotation continues so keep that in mind let me explain the code now for this all data display uh, up to here there is no difference so this is the same as before and this is for the i square c lcd and here is the extra uh, array here you do not change it but um, just select this select type one means if you want gyro angle and acceleration put one here if you want gyro angle and angle the position angle put zero and two three four five and then the last one is angle and temperature because this module has also temperature you just select that uh, inside this uh, setup is the same as the previous one no change inside the loop uh, from here to here is exactly the same and after the clear we put the switch here dependent on the type of the select this will go LCD display and then pass six value that's C1, 2 and then 3 and then 3 on this line 6 so th this 3 will be used X, Y, Z and 1 and then this will be used for the other one and as you can see here 0, 1 and depending on the case we get different uh, value that you see here you see acceleration in X, acceleration in Y, acceleration in Z and then gyro in X so these are all have been arranged so for you you just uh, set this in case if yours is different otherwise this most of the time will be the same you just need to select this one and that's it everything should work fine and after that there is a loop uh, the delay of 100 milliseconds after the switch and it continues now LCD display is a function that I wrote and it's here and it gets all these values, six values, so this is three, and then we have three more, and it's being displayed accordingly. It will display proper title, proper uh, number on the corner to tell you which mode you are, and also each set of a value. So you don't have to change it, it's simple LCD. If you want to change it, you could do so. The one that shows all the data here, and here we can select either zero would be gyro and angle and also will be gyro angle and acceleration gyro angle and gyro value acceleration angle and acceleration acceleration angle and gyro acceleration angle and angle or angle plus temperature for each we select zero one two three four and five and six in here right now as you can see uh, this is showing as one and it shows gyro angle and acceleration you can see this is almost zero so as soon as I move it this was in Y and that is in X and this is in Z direction now let me change it to two it will be gyro and acceleration so gyro angle and gyro so this is gyro angle the first one and then gyro is this one these are the gyro so let me select number three now when I move it then it will show the acceleration remember we set also the refresh rate very slow so it's, it will not react, fa react faster but you can change that and now I'm going to number four now this is number four acceleration angle in gyroscope as you can see here this is the acceleration value and this is the gyroscope value and we don't have z here for the acceleration angle now i've selected five and five is acceleration angle and actual acceleration as you can see they are very similar to each other but as soon as i do some movement you will see that it will reflect the change accordingly
here I've set this now to 6 now this is in mode 6 it shows angle uh, which reflects here and also it shows the temperature 30.62 this is the temperature that because I've touched this for a long time it's hot and this was also on for a while but the room temperature is around 25 degrees or 23 degrees thank you for watching this was how we use this MPU 6050 with this LCD 2004 uh, with I2C module uh, if you have any question or comment please post it at the uh, comment section below I'll try to answer and reply and also if you uh, subscribe I appreciate it so you can get updates of my upcoming videos